Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we are going through my last five luxury handbag purchases and we're going to rank them from worst to best. Spoiler alert. None of them are even remotely bad purchases. We're just ranking them. Bo -ho, bo -ho, bo -ho, bo -ho. <laughs> bo but before we hop into today's last five handbag purchases, if you guys love handbags, hauls, luxury, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new and if you guys enjoy today's content make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video and it helps with that pesky <coughs> YouTube L go rhythm this ain't Katie Price <laughs> have you all got amnesia so from my last five handbags all have gotten tons of views. All are absolutely beautiful and I love all of them. But for video's sake and for fun's sake, we're going to be ranking them from least favorite or worst to best slash most favorite. Starting off with number five. The Longchamp Amazon Extra Small Crossbody Bag in this beautiful like corduroy type of like fabric. I absolutely love this. This is only, this is ranked at number five because uh, this is a pretty strong top five, if you, or last five, if you will. The last five bags I've purchased have been pretty damn heavy hitters. And unfortunately, this does take the bottom of that barrel, but it is a stunning piece. And just looking at it, I'm like, damn, uh, Duh, I know why I grabbed this. I remember why I grabbed it, and it is just stunning. I love the texture of it. The color is just that right color where it's not too, like, autumn-y or not too much of, like, a holiday bag. It could be used all year round. It's got the right amount of brown in it, if you know what I mean. And it also has a beautiful black trim and the silver hardware. Hello. Hello. And if I'm not mistaken, this is probably the, like, the least expensive of the bags shown in today's video. Or at least price paid, I should say. Handbag number four goes to... Number four goes to the Bandit Mint Surf Shoulder Bag. This was really hard to put in number four. It was really hard to put at number four because this thing is just a sickening. The leather is just amazing. I'm so glad they used like that iconic gloved hand leather. I like I'm pretty sure it's full grain. Like it feels like full grain leather, if you know what I mean. Um, it's stunning. The design is sickening. I love the color scheme of the bag itself, and it does fit a fair bit amount. I did see people say like online that like the buckle, like unbuckles easy if the bag's full if anything I have the exact opposite issue where like if it's too full I have I'm struggling trying to, trying to open the bag but um a sickening piece absolutely sickening piece and I've used this quite a bit actually I think I use this more than the the long shop so far only because it's I've just been going through this, like, really colorful, artsy phase. As you can tell, I've got, like, this really cute blue faux fur on, you know. Art paw, eat your heart out. <sighs> Again, really difficult to put this in number four, but it is at number four. And it's the second most expensive in today's list, I think. I do believe it, because it retails for $9.50, so I do believe it's second most expensive. I got it for 50% off, though. Of course. <laughs> mm, sickening. <laughs> Handbag number three goes to my one and only Diesel 1DR shoulder bag. Now, okay, this was really hard ranking between number three and four with the Bandit Mint Surf because both 
have a particular edge to them. Both have a particular style to them that are very me and my style. But it was very hard to choose between the two. I was like, oh my god. I wanted to say the Bandit Mint Surf. But I only took, I, did, I chose this one as number three because it's so unique. Um, it's unique. It's orange. Orange is my favorite color. It is just the bee's knees. It is just a stunning, stunning luxury handbag. And $650 Canadian, that's not that bad. That's really not that bad. I just love what Diesel has done for their, sh their shoulder bags. Like, this shoulder bag is just sickening. Like, there's just no other way to put it. It's retro. It's Y2K. It's just high fashion. I am in love. And the finish, the finish is just superb. It does remind me of like a metallic orange spazzolato almost. Um, I don't know exactly, but it's still really pretty and it rightfully deserves number three in today's ranking. Handbag number two goes to two and one Ben Hobo. 39 from Coach Reloved. I, this is probably like my dream, like this is my dream coach bag. Like I, I, I'm still like in shock that I still have it. Like it's such a beautiful bag. It is a super expensive. It is stunning though. I've used it a bit. I do try to use it sparingly because it is a really big bag. It's got some weight to it. The leather on it is super thick. I, I just, Every time I pick up this bag, I literally hug it. I squeeze it. I like just, and it just, it's just a bag that you can do that to. And I'm just so obsessed with it. The leather just smells amazing. The leather feels amazing. Like, look at me. I'm literally just like throwing this thing around because it's just, it's just such a lovable, lovable bag. And I cannot get enough of it. I love it, ma'am. And like I said, two in one. So, you know, it's fitting that it's number two in the list. Very fitting. Can you not just believe this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful masterpiece? I am in awe. That would be me. And that leaves us with handbag number one. The one, the only... Eleanor Satchel from Tori Birch. I love her. She never, she's always in the spotlight. She is always in the spotlight and for a damn good reason. Um, with this bag in hand, all high-end luxury brands should be shaking in their boots. This thing screams literal like, five thousand six thousand dollar bag and it's a one thousand dollar bag that's how beautiful is it is that's how beautiful the leather is that's how beautiful the silhouette is it was worth every goddamn penny and i would do it again in a heartbeat if i had the money like it is just such a gorgeous gorgeous piece it does come with like a really dinky shoulder bag strap though and I really hate the strap. Y'all could have done like anything in the world for a strap and you gave us like this like single little slice of leather like ma'am. Ma'am. You're lucky I'm not wearing my bag as a shoulder bag or a crossbody or no it's not even a crossbody. You couldn't use that as a crossbody ever. Um, But nonetheless it is just my favorite handbag in my collection. It is the number one best purchase of my last five handbags that I bought. Um, that That's it. Like, there's just nothing else other than to gush about how beautiful the bag is. The suede, excellent. I pet the suede. Every time I have this bag in my hand, I'm sitting there just petting the suede. Oh boy. This is my number one bag in my collection for a reason. And I'm very happy to have it. Ah! That's why it's in all my backgrounds. I just can't get enough of it. It is the handbag that is just... Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm ranting about how much I love my Eleanor. What else is new? It's just so beautiful. And every time I wear it, I just, I pick it up. And I know the exact reason why I paid $1,000 Canadian for this. I know why I saved up and worked really hard to get it. Um, Despite the flaws it might have. Despite the issues I had with Tory Burch, uh, the company trying to buy the bag, whatever, right? I'm still just glad to have it in my collection. And it's unmatched in almost every single aspect. But anyways, I'm gonna show y'all a sickening outfit of the day. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, hundred, hundred people, hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand. Or nine nine hundred ninety nine. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's ranking video from my last five purchases from luxury handbag brands. Now, I love all of these bags. I love all of them. This ranking, as usual, with all my ranking videos, this was not easy. I love all of them. They all have a particular particular vibe in my collection and they're all one of a kind within my collection as well um eleanor eleanor satchel takes the cake every single time and it will from now until the day i die <laughs> Anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's ranking video from my last five purchases, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit that like button. Share with your friends and family. Comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day or ranking video. As well, you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back, and I'll see you all in my next video. Uh, bye! <laughs> I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's over. <laughs>